One of the strongest ways to encourage shoppers to make a purchase is by showing them positive reviews from other customers. But how do you actually get those reviews? We're going to break it down for you in this episode of The Jam. What is up? I'm Gordon from Marmalade. And I'm Richie from Marmalade. So what are we talking about today on The Jam, Richie? Great question, Gordon. And I will tell you in story form. So. There I was, ready to commit. A big decision with real and lasting consequences. Locked between the final three choices. How to choose from here? Oh, I know. I'll learn from others before me. I'll read. Reviews. So this is Valentine's Day gift for my wife after all. The stakes are high, and this is not a time to take risks. I read the reviews, and guess what? They swayed me. They'll sway your prospective customers as well. Like me, they want to feel confident in their purchase. You've done everything else right, and now you want, slash actually need, social proof. You want reviews, and you want them steady and often. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about getting reviews for your Etsy so wh shop. what happened? I want to know the rest of the story. What happened? You had me hooked. <laughs> you got to listen to later and find out. <laughs> Did you find something? Of course I found something. I was down to the oh, last God. three. But it was the reviews that made me choose that <laughs> one special one. And guess what? I did not sleep on the couch that night. <laughs> <laughs> Great success. So yeah, today we're talking about reviews and how important they are for your shop. I mean, the story probably gave some, a little bit of clue of how important they are. They're front and center in customers' minds. Etsy puts them right there on the page. How do you go about getting more reviews? How do you get favorable reviews? What are some tips for getting strong reviews? Maybe you're a seller that's just starting out or maybe hasn't even opened a shop yet. These are things that you should be thinking about because they're going to help you make the sale. It helps everything all around. So in reviews are one of the tools that you can use to help generate more sales. And a very important fact is that most customers just aren't going to leave reviews unless you ask them to. So even with Etsy's own follow-up, reminding them for a review, it's like a 25% success rate. So you got that going for you. So if you're not someone that's already asking for reviews, then Etsy is on your behalf and that's great. You're hopefully getting something from it but it's still, you know, it's from Etsy. It's not from you. It's not from the shop owner. It's different. It's not as personal. That's like DoorDash asking for a restaurant review versus the owner or the chef asking you how it went. How was your experience? So of course, how do you, how do you go and get reviews like the shops that crush that 25% number? Because of course we want you to be better than average, right? You're listening to our channel. You're with Marmalade here. So let's go rock this. What is the plan? How are we going to do it? We have five different suggestions here. So the first suggestion is to follow up with the customers. Like Richie's saying, Etsy might do this on your behalf and prompt them to leave a review for something they just purchased, but don't leave it up to that. You wanna follow up with them yourselves. When you start making your first sales on Etsy, the app will actually even tell you like, look, you just made a sale, you should follow up with this customer, make sure everything's good, thank them for the purchase. And so that's a good reminder to do that. Usually wait till maybe, the next day or so after the sale comes through to reach out to them and tell them you appreciate their purchase. Reviews really help my shop out. And so after you get your listing, your, your product, we, I would appreciate if you came back and left a review for my shop. And if there's anything that I can help you with, if something's not quite right, let me know, reach out in messages here, and I'm more than happy to help you with those things. And very important note here is, assuming that you actually care, this won't be perceived as pushy. Again, this is one of those things where the internet is always like, don't do that because this will happen and that will happen and it's bad, bad, bad. When people actually genuinely care and ask like, hey, how did things go? It's not perceived as pushy. I've never felt that way. No one I've talked to has ever felt that way. Even the grumpiest of people tend to when someone genuinely asks something like, you know, from the heart, hey, how'd this go? Want well, to make sure you had a great time. They like it. You know, again, this is what something Gordon said, but chance to resolve any problems before they leave a negative review also. That's a really good point. There seems to be a lot of apprehension out there uh, around sellers not feeling like it's okay to reach out to their customers. Think saying how Etsy has all these rules. You're not supposed to spam your customers and reach out to them and solicit them. And yeah, you're not, right? You can't reach out to them and be like, hey, thanks for buying this. You should also look at these other five things in my shop. <laughs> like that, That's kind of maybe not okay. But like Richie said, if you're being genuine and you're reaching out and you're wanting some feedback on things and if you're offering to help with anything they need help with, that is totally okay. Etsy appreciates that. They know that people come to Etsy for that buying experience and for that kind of one-on-one -on -one connection that you get with the shop there. That's something they have over Amazon. You don't get that when you're buying on Amazon, you know? I want to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to The Jam by Marmalade. 
Marmalade helps guide you to keywords that real Etsy shoppers are using so you can get more sales doing what you love. Check out Marmalade in the link in the description or at M-A-R-M-A-L-E-A-D.com. Number two, a thank you card in your packaging. Let them know how much their purchase means to you. Remind them to consider you for the next relevant seasonal purchase. Of course, in a non-pushy way, and there's nothing wrong with that. And of course, that review is super helpful and much, much appreciated. Tip number three, help them understand what a good review is. What does that look like? A big part of shoppers not leaving reviews is they don't know what to write. It's easy to go in there and maybe throw some stars on something, but I don't know, what do I put down? Like. Great purchase, you know, guide them along the way. Maybe ask them some questions, whether it's on that thank you card or when you reach out to them through Etsy messages. Did everything arrive okay? Was the product in good condition? Did it arrive in a timely manner? Things like that. Things that if they put them into the review, it's going to encourage other shoppers like, oh, okay, this, this was a good experience. Like the product's in good shape. It arrived, you know, pretty quickly. I'm gonna have a good time if I make this same purchase too. Number four, follow all of Etsy's rules and not the made up ones that you read in the forums. If you're following Etsy's rules, you're not harassing your customers, but go to the source on this stuff, right? Actually look at Etsy's rules if you're unsure about something. And if you're unsure about that, ask Etsy. As much help as the internet is for a lot of stuff, if you really want to make sure you're getting the truth and something that's gonna keep you out of trouble, get it from the source, right? Ask Etsy, hey, I was thinking about this. This part's a little bit unclear. I just want to make sure that's okay. Ask Etsy support. They will tell you. They're not going to tell you, oh, yeah, that's cool, and then come back and be like, that wasn't cool. Why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you said I could. Right. You said I could do it. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's just, I really think a lot of this is just a little bit misunderstanding, and I get it, right? We're risk averse. We want to be cautious. We don't want to run afoul of any rules, and that's fine. And a lot of this is, you know, it's, it's new to you, it's normal with new things. You're like, I don't want to mess it up, and it's new. Just follow the rules. You're going to be good. Tip number five, measure. As with anything that you do, measure so that you know what changes you're making and which of those changes are actually working. So if you start adding a thank you card to your products, keep an eye on how many reviews was I getting per week or per month before I started doing that. Okay, how has that affected my number of reviews? If I start reaching out to customers the day after they make a purchase, how did that impact the number of reviews that I'm seeing? If you aren't measuring how well something is working, you really don't know like if you should keep doing it. Should I keep spending time on these thank you cards or should I keep reaching out to people? It takes time to sit down and write people a note even if you're using templates. So by measuring things, you, you can understand which things you're doing are working the best and you should do more of. It doesn't have to be complicated. Just keeping an eye on it. This worked, this didn't, that easy. Or you can go crazy and use a spreadsheet. Whatever you wanna do. All that being said, we love hearing success stories and getting reviews, so email us. See how easy there that was? Go. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Absolutely. <laughs> that didn't feel too pushy, did it? I didn't think so. What'd All you right. guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. So there you guys go. Uh, five tips for you guys for jumpstarting the reviews that you're getting in your shop. Obviously, they're massively important to the success of your shop as shoppers are out there on Etsy looking at products. They're, like Richie opened it with the story. They're going to be comparing against these two other products and they want to know like, how did it go? Are other people enjoying this? Or am I like the first one to be buying this over here and I have no idea how this is even going to, is this going to happen? Am I going to get it? I don't know. The more reviews you can get on your listings, the better it is for you and your conversions and making sales on Etsy. So hopefully these five things helped you guys out. We'll see you guys next time on The Jam. 